folks, let's get right into it. Of course, last night, last night was the second straight night of democratic debates on CNN, which means last night we all watched a bunch of randos try to score points and move on in the competition. <laughs> or if you didn't watch Love Island, you could have watched the debate. It doesn't... <laughs> But apparently, not that many people watched the debate because there was a big drop-off in ratings from last month's debates on NBC. And it seems people are starting to feel election fatigue. 459 days before voting day. <laughs> Come on, guys, we've got to pace ourselves. <laughs> But there were some viral moments that came out of the debate last night. In his opening statement, Andrew Yang compared himself to Donald Trump with this description. We need to do the opposite of much of what we're doing right now, and the opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I like it. I like it. <laughs> He's not wrong. Unfortunately, another difference between Andrew Yang and Donald Trump is that people know who Donald Trump is. <laughs> Don't act like you know who Andrew Yang is. <laughs> Yang said he's the opposite of Donald Trump. I always imagined the opposite of Donald Trump was just a very well-read green salad. <laughs> And a lot of people were talking about this moment. Kirsten Gillibrand outlined the first thing she would do as president. The first thing that I'm going to do when I'm president is I'm going to Clorox the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> Bleach! Bleach! Let's get this straight. The first thing you want to do when Trump leaves is make the Oval Office even whiter? <laughs> but I get it. I do. I would do the same thing if I had to move into a house that had been occupied by nothing but men for the past 230 years. <laughs> Here's a survey you might find interesting. Nearly one-third of millennials say they don't have enough money to go on dates. They say dating is just too expensive to go out very often. It's a great excuse I wish I would have had in my teens. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a lot of offers. I'm just trying to focus on my savings right now. <laughs> so if you're a millennial who's totally broke, you might just have to get creative and take your date out for something that's free. What do you think this guy's doing at this taping? <laughs> is this your date? Is this your date? This is your date. This is your date here. Did he tell you that these tickets cost money? <laughs> Little bit. You, you got them for him. You got them for him. Yeah. Well, you know where you're going after this. <laughs> I got four words for you, buddy. Olive Garden Unlimited Breadsticks. <laughs> you're welcome. And finally, <laughs> according to a new study, men who ate two handfuls of nuts per day reported improvements in sexual function. Yeah? <laughs> By the way, two handfuls of nuts is also how Fox News described this week's Democratic debates. <laughs> two... <laughs> two handfuls of nuts per day improves male sexual performance. There are so many of these studies. I just feel like now it's a bunch of scientists going, oh, yeah, say that. That'll be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Although this does explain the ridiculous amount of confidence from a guy who wears a top hat, a monocle, and literally nothing else. 